Hello, hello, and welcome back in. It's my channel. There are my boys, Scout and Ozzy. Scout being the little retard that he is, trying to eat everything outside. Got to keep an eye on him. But what are we doing today? We are cleaning out the cluster here. Oh, man. So much stuff. Ozzy's getting excited because he hears my voice and he thinks everything good is going to happen. Woo! Scout. Scout. Hey, Bubbo. Getting over into where you don't need to be, which is out of my eyesight. Okay. All right, so hardware box. Go ahead and get this out of the way. Doing everything via handheld cell phone. Guys, somebody chip in. Give me some money to actually start getting a good camera and make some appeasing content for you. 53 subscribers at this point on my channel goodness y'all are really pushing me to make some better stuff be be a better person make more content even my wife is on me about it now she saw my creator email come through and said oh my gosh you need to uh you need to actually step up and make this something worthwhile if you're just gonna jack around i said you're right i need to stop playing I need to get her done boys hey Put that off, man. Come on. Jeez. Dogs, what you gonna do? Okay. So what do we got going on here? A whole bunch of hoopla that needs to get out of my shed. Got a pet carrier that we don't even use. Got a bunch of just wipes and chemically stuff. Check on them again. All right. So let's dig into the bags here and let's see what we got. Let's make this just a tool haul video and then I'll clean up off camera. How about that? So, made a few trips to Harbor Freight over the past few weeks. I got some stuff coming home from work. So let's get into it. Mostly a lot of consumables, but some of this is going to work. Uh, like this guy right here. This is a boot for my brand new impact that I have at work. Uh, mini impact that I need to give y'all a video on because it's a beast. It is an Aircat mini impact. Amazing, amazing tool. Harbor Freight had an awesome deal for some heat shrink. Nine piece. Yeah, not that much, but you could get a ton of them on the same coupon for 89 cents a pack. And I took advantage of that. Always need heat shrink, especially for the Mustang out there that I'm going to be redoing a lot of wires on. They had a freebie for the Grants microfiber cleaning cloths, 12 by 12s. Good little cloths. I don't really have much of an issue with them. They're going to help out. Going to be worthwhile. And what do you know? In this bag, a second trip, uh, I did it again. I got another one. So, should have plenty of those to go around. What else we got? My wife's car, when she was working at a job prior, got a nasty scratch back there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Poor thing. Right there. And so I'm going to see if Scratch Doctor will take it off. And maybe we'll make a video out of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's happening with these bad boys. Exhaust hangers. Nothing. What, what were y'all thinking? Bedroom stuff? No. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yep. Um, You never know. So... Having these big 24 inch uh, black cable ties, you, you never know what's going to happen. So I picked up a few of those. I think they were close to a buck each package. Ah, they'll come in handy maybe one day. I need shop supplies out here anyhow. My family got me a box of gloves for Christmas as part of a stocking so they're gonna go in here that'll be my next supply i think they might be a little bit big for me xl i'm i'm short man i'm five foot four my hands whew, i don't know but we'll put them to good use and that's one bag down i think it's got some coupons still in it do i do i yeah i do all right i'll reuse them teflon tape always need it it's good stuff what else is in here? What else? What else? Looky, looky. Fuses. You need fuses, man. If you can tell, I'm I'm kind of starting up rebuilding the shop into what it needs to be. It's not really a shop. It's a shed. But 
I need a lot of this stuff. I need a lot of supplies and just little parts because cars and vehicles need that stuff. This is the crap that goes bad, causes you to go down on the side of the road, and, you know, just, you need stuff like this. So, got hose clamps, got fuses. We got even more zip ties, gents. Oh, the modern duct tape. It's a wonderful thing. I got this bag of zip ties. Oh, what else is in here? This I grabbed for my uh, my car. I've got a little car toolbox that I keep in the back of the junkyard Toyota. And I'm going to throw this back there because you never know when an electrical issue comes up. Good point. The Taurus over there. While I was on a business trip with my wife, with me, down in Lake City, Florida, decided to have an electrical issue that stemmed from a poor inspection I did on it. Um, I didn't know that the battery had gone bad at some point. It leaked battery acid all over the tray and down into some wiring. And a year later, on this business trip, it decides to rear its ugly head in the form of several crazy codes like uh, low oil pressure, uh, this and that, yada, 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 cost me, eh, I mean, it wasn't too, too bad, but probably between an oil change that I did to double check the oil quality and um, the Uber rides because that was the one vehicle we took and the repairs at the local Ford dealer and the car rental, I mean, added all up maybe in the neighborhood of $250, but that's $250 I could have had back in my pocket if, number one, I would have inspected correctly. And, number two, if I had some tools with me to do stuff. I'm a mechanic, man, and I was on a business trip without tools. All I had was a multimeter because it was a uh, after-treatment training class. So, shame on me. That will never happen again. Big purchase from Harbor Freight was some three-ton heavy-duty jack stands because I need to get the back end of the Mustang up in the air to continue working on it. What do we have coming from work? This will be a little bit of a tell-all about some other videos coming up for you guys. So, again, there's an air cap baggie. Got some picks and a cable. I got a brush that doesn't belong at work anymore. I got some casters from a um, creeper that I killed. I backed over with a truck. Crap happens, guys. 60 hours a week being a mechanic. Sometimes you lose track of stuff. And, uh, yeah. At least I wasn't on it when I backed over it. <laughs> Here we go. So, that's some stuff that just... It's going to get thrown to the side. I'll put the picks back in my toolbox. I got a wrench rack here that uh, I'm no longer using because the space does not exist in the toolbox for it. So, it gets thrown over there. What's in this? Oh man, big giant red bag with other little baggies in it. Good stuff for keeping you organized on a long-term project. This is a wrap from a wrench set that came as part of Christmas. You will be seeing something about that on my channel. And a couple of trays from, you know, tools that I had in trays at work. Um... I didn't have space in the box for them anymore. So that's that. So what does this tell you? This tells you that I do have a lot of videos coming, guys. I promise. It's going to happen. This is going to get cleaned out. You're going to see what this shed is going to turn into. I promise. The Mustang on the other side of this wall over here is going to get worked on. I promise. The toolbox in the back of my car. We'll go through that and describe what I like to carry with me every day. I promise. And as far as stuff like this from work where you see this and you see this and you're like holy crap you're not telling us enough man i promise you're going to see some more stuff i know these last few videos have been boring i'm learning this youtube stuff i'm gonna get better guys so thank you thank you i gotta unpack this uh box here or this bag because i just hung a projector up in my house and maybe we'll make a video about that as well peace